Hi everyone, we're here at the Summer Fancy Food Show in New York City, and we are here talking with Jim Lowe. He's the Executive VP of Marketing and Sales of Schumann Cheese. Hi, Jim. Hi, Beth. How are you? I'm good. Thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. It's a pleasure. So, a lot going on for you guys. Excited to talk about it all. Tell us a bit about this redesign of some of your lesser known brands. Sure, sure. Well, at this show, we're relaunching and debuting our Bella Rosa line of cheese. Um, Bella Rosa, we say, is good to go. So what we've tried to do is give it a look that encourages people to come to the specialty case and enjoy really high quality cheese. And we've done that in a couple ways. So the first is we've tried to put colors on the packages that are very welcoming. So you see these nice, colorful uh, pastel colors. And the second is every item in the Bella Rosa line is good to go, meaning you can eat it right away, you can use it right away. And then we also have two new items called Bella Rosa Snacks to Go. These items are cheese, nuts, and fruit, and they're eight grams of protein, only 180 calories in every package. Perfect to take on the go when you want a little quick, all natural protein hit. And every Bella Rosa line has our true cheese guarantee, which means that it's made with no preservatives, no fillers, and it's authentic natural cheese. You know, we see a lot of the sort of on-the-go theme coming into different categories. Tell us how that lets you guys expand maybe into different markets or attract different types of consumers. Sure. Well, you know, I mean, at Schumann Cheese, we love cheese. And one of the things we're trying to do is make it possible for people to enjoy cheese wherever they are. So convenient packaging like this is really important so people can take their cheese wherever they go and still have that, that experience. So we're doing this. We've also, on our cello line, introduced a line of cello chisels, which are bite-sized pieces in a resealable cup. So just trying to make sure that we give consumers what they want where they want it. Tell us a little bit, if you can, about the design and how you think this new design maybe makes the product stand out. Sure. Well, what we've done is we've tried to be uh, simple, pure colors because the cheese is simple, natural, and pure. And then we have the, the rose up here and the logo uh, holding the name of the product just to make it easier and bright to see in the specialty case. So mm -hmm. we think this is obviously good for uh, consumers so they can find it. But we also think it's going to be really good for our customers because it'll signal that there's something new and natural in the case and hopefully bring more people to shop that part of the store. So there's a lot of information that could be on here. There's a lot of information about cheese that I think maybe a lot of people don't think about when they're shopping for it. How do you decide what to feature on the actual package itself, sure. especially with it being such a small size? Well, unfortunately, on the small packaging, we're a little constrained by mm -hmm. government regulations. So we have to have all of, the, mm -hmm. all of this mouse type information here because people want to know. They want to know what's in the product, mm -hmm. what are the nutritionals. But what we do on uh, where we have a little bit more space is we try to make sure that the brand promise is really clear. So you see here we have a true cheese guarantee and then we spell, what, spell out what that means. Transparency and clean ingredients are so important for consumers today, and cheese is ready made for that. So we want to make sure that consumers know this is pure, unadulterated cheese. So talk a little bit with us about the non-dairy craze that's sort of taking over the market, it seems like. Sure. How, how do you figure out how to talk about cheese? Which again, could be a complicated topic to talk about. Lots of consumers concerned about whether they should eat any type of dairy at all some wanting to incorporate a little bit of it back into their diet. How do you get to those consumers that, like you mentioned, are so interested in clean eating? Sure. Well, the good thing is that the non-dairy movement and the consumer that we're trying to address here have a common need, which is around natural, authentic, true food. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the divergence is obviously if somebody chooses not to eat dairy, then it's tough for us to address their needs with our products. But there's still a really large group of people who want natural food that has natural proteins, um, has good fats, things like that. And our cheese is perfect for that. I love the idea of the snacks on the go with cheese. I guess it means you just have to eat it faster before it goes badly. You know what? <laughs> Once you open cheese, it's hard to eat it slow. Yeah, exactly. Well, thank you so much, Thanks Jim. Thanks so much, It's Beth. been so great talking with you. Likewise. Thanks so much for joining us here at the Fancy Food Show. We are excited to see you guys again soon.